Many people say that our Mavs from the Club de Nuit collection, Milestone, is as good, if not better, than Creed's Millicene Imperial. In this video, I will have them go head to head. If you've been wondering yourself, stay tuned and maybe I'll shed some light on it for you. Hey everyone, it's Peter from Centrail. On this channel, we talk about fragrances. So if this is your first time, I wanna give you a warm welcome. If you're back, it is good to see you again. Like I said, on this channel, we talk about fragrances. Designers, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you're into fragrances or you just wanna smell nice, consider subscribing and love, like, all those wonderful things that support this channel. I wanna thank you in advance. And now, let's get into our video for today. Creed Millicent Imperial against our Moffs Club de Nuit Milestone. Creed Millicent Imperial was created in 1995 by the house of Creed. The perfumer behind it is Olivier Creed. The fragrance itself to me is somewhat unisex. I think anybody could wear this. It's a little bit on the dated side, but it's still a very, very beautiful scent. And it is meant to capture the beautiful uh, seaside landscape of Italy, more specific, Sicily. The sea salt and citruses mixed together like bergamot, lemon, there's also some mandarin orange in there, make this one a beautiful, elegant and sophisticated fragrance. And all that is topped off with a beautiful, powdery, soft iris note. It doesn't stick out, it is just kind of all around. It's a truly beautiful scent. Creed Millicent Imperial is expertly blended without anything sticking out it's a scent profile that is all uniform that many of us have loved for many years. Now, of course, with many things that are beautiful and unique, there is always and will always be companies or people out there that are trying to copy it or get as close to it because everyone wants a piece of the action or in this case, fragrance. I'm not usually a big fan of clones. I'd rather wear the original. However, with times changing, I did, and you know, obviously this YouTube channel, I did buy Siage from uh, Armaf as well, and that compares Silver Mountain Water. Siage is supposed to be uh, a really close copy of that one. I did a review on this fragrance a while back. I will link it in the top if you're interested. Um, so I decided to get Milestone for you guys and kind of give you an idea of what and how close it is to Millicent Imperial. I believe someone asked for it and here you go. I did say that this is a comparison. So we're going to look at the bottles first and look at the presentation. Here we have Creed Millicent Imperial. This is the golden flacon. It also comes in a clear one. And this is a beautiful golden flacon. However, it is a fingerprint magnet. You touch it and fingerprints appear just all over it. So I'm constantly cleaning it. Also, this snaps into place, very nice and sound. And it's got a good solid sprayer on it. Yeah, so let's look at the um, Milestone from Club de Nuit, our moth. Here is Milestone and it is a similar color. It's not quite the same. Here is Creed and there is Milestone. So it is a little bit more on the rosy color. Now they did get one thing really good and that is that this is also a fingerprint magnet. It just, it's just the way it is. The cap on this one also snaps into place. You can pick it up from here and the sprayer. It's not quite as wide, but it is a decent sprayer. And that is our Moth Club de Nuit and this is Creed Millicent Imperial. Now, as I sprayed this milestone from the get-go, let's give it another spray while we're at it. There's one thing I noticed right at the beginning, that milestone starts off just a little bit sharper. It's not quite as smooth and soft as Millicent Imperial from Creed. There's a little bit of a harsh note in here and it is definitely on the synthetic side to my nose. The notes in here also are C notes, and that is in the Armaf version. There are C notes in here. There's also some citruses, 
and there's also some fruits in here i believe it has a raspberry note in there somewhere or red fruits i think is listed on this one but to me at the top it's just a little bit i don't know almost astringent there's also an irish note in here there's also some vetiver there's also musk just like there is in the Millicent Imperial. So the notes are all very similar in the roundabout kind of way. But I just, I, I do feel that the, the top notes or when you first spray it is a little bit harsh for me. And therefore it is not as smooth and it is not as refined as Millicent Imperial from Creed. All in all, I think that that Milestone is probably about 80 85% similar to Millicent Imperial. They do definitely smell somewhat alike, but comparatively speaking, this one is a much better fragrance. Also, the longevity and the sillage on these, our moth wins by a little bit. Now I still get good protection and a good sillage and longevity out of this one. You know, I spray this and I can smell it all day, but uh, the Milestone from Club de Nuit is a little bit stronger, it's a little bit more pungent, and it protects just a little bit better than the Creed. It's maybe due because it's a little bit more astringent, not quite as soft. Now, another thing that I noticed when I was wearing this one is that Milestone by Armagh stays a little bit more on the linear side. There is not a whole lot of development. It kind of stays the way you spray it. The tartness kind of goes away at the beginning and it becomes a little bit more smooth, but then it kind of stays there for the duration of the fragrance. While Millicent Imperial from Creed goes through different stages and it has a wonderful and beautiful dry down and hours later, your skin will absolutely smell fantastic. So where does that leave us? Well, I think because of the similarities in these fragrances, yeah, if I'm going to go outside, this is just my opinion, if I'm going to go outside and I'm going to be outside playing around and I would like the, you know, the scent of Millicent Imperial on me, but I'm going to be outside maybe uh, sweating, riding a bike or something like that, I will, will, I will wear a Milestone. It's a great scent, smells almost like Millicent Imperial, and it'll give you a similar kind of vibe. However, if I'm going to be in a close encounter with a person, or if I'm going to have my friends close to me, or my wife close to me, or you know, at a dinner party, you know, and I'm not talking about a regular one, like a nicer dinner party, I will wear Millicent Imperial. Millicent Imperial is going to be a little bit more refined, it is going to have a better dry down, and all around it's just a better fragrance. But that's just my opinion. So why don't you let me know your experiences in the comments? I would love to hear from you. Have you tried Milestone? Do you think it is better? Does it work better on you? One thing is for sure. I think our moth, especially the Club de Nuit line, they're doing an excellent job at this point, replicating or cloning, whatever you want to call it, some of the better fragrances out there. They're doing a really good job with the Creed fragrances, yeah? This one is very close. The Siage, if you, you know, looked at it, if you're going to look at it, is a little bit better, I think, in general, closer to Silver Mountain Water than I, th than I think that they did with this getting close to Millicent Imperial. They're not as close, and this is just not quite as good as the Siage. I like the Siage much better. At the end of the day, it is up to you, you know? Do you want to spend the money? Do you care about the dry down? You know, how much do you wear it, you know? One thing is for sure, that we all love fragrances. I hope you enjoyed this quick review or comparison of Creed Millicent Imperial compared to our Moffs Club de Nuit Milestone. If you got anything out of this, please do consider subscribing. Love, like, share, all those wonderful things that, that support this channel. I want to thank you in advance. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice, and I'll talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail, out.